What's going on guys? Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going to be doing a little walk around on the outside of a 1971 Chevelle. Does have a 454 big block up under the hood. Power steering drum brakes all the way around on this car. Vinyl top. This car here does have some body issues that we're going to be going over. That's why it's priced the way it is there's a few bubbles popping up some rust coming up on the corners and stuff we're going to be going over all that stuff i went ahead and opened the trunk and under the hood so i'm not flipping the camera around if you like my videos hit that subscribe button we try to uh describe these cars exactly the way they are that way when you come to pick them up you know exactly what you're buying we're located here in hendersonville tennessee we got a website called maplemotors.com you can see all of our inventory on there we actually bought about 20 cars this week alone so uh we've definitely restocked we're gonna start up here in the front we have finance options and shipping information available at our website as well the chrome on the bumper in the front is looking really nice it doesn't look beat up or old they've somebody's replaced that bumper for sure headlight bezels look like they've been replaced as well the grill looks nice and clean turn signals are solid looking under the hood is nice and clean as well they didn't do too much to take away from the motors it's nice and clean under the hood as well i will be shutting the hood by the end of the video and giving you all some undercarriage shots Looking down the side of the car, it looks fairly straight. Like I said, there's gonna be some bubbling, some rust issues popping up on the body. Frame-wise, it's good, nice and solid. Uh, like I said, I will be doing them undercarriage shots. We have close to 100 detailed photos on our website of the undercarriage. So everything looks fairly solid. There is a bubble right here at the bottom of this door. I see popping up. A little scratch here and another bubble right there and this is one of the worst spots it's just got a lot of rust under those bubbles there coming on up the door everything else looks nice and solid mirrors are showing signs of age the trim around the windows look nice it's not all beat up i definitely pay attention to under the vinyl top And I'm not seeing any bubbles under the vinyl top, so that's good. Coming around to the back here, there's some more popping up behind the driver's rear wheel. Also a really bad spot right here above the rear bumper on the driver's side. Weather stripping around the trunk looks like it's been replaced. Rear bumper has not been replaced. You can see some surface rust popping up on it. Tailpipes got a little bit of surface rust on them as well. Little bit of water's getting in the trunk here, probably from the back window seal. Most of the time you can see streaks running down the fender wells, which I do. And there's uh, water right there. So that means, yes, it's coming through back here. And that looks fairly solid up there. A little bit of surface rust popping up. It is a 71 and it is all metal, so. A few little spots in the trunk. like they put a speaker up there i don't know if that's gonna do any good i'm gonna shut the trunk down and check it out lid looks fairly straight just on the edges some bubbles like i said in the beginning this car is going to need some body work mechanically sound 
some spots around the top there on the edges but looking down the vinyl top i don't see any bubbles there may be one right there though real small up against the trim coming across the roof looks nice and straight we got a slight tint on the windows just helps keep the sun out Tires are in great shape, American Racing rims. Same thing on this side as the driver's side. Bunch of bubbling right in front of the tires. There's a crack in the door. Scratch in the fender. All right, made our way around the car here. Definitely on the low end for a big block, but you see why, because it's gonna need some of that body work done. Hood pins in the hood. Like I said, I'll be laying that down here shortly. Edge of the door has got some nicks and stuff in it. Weather stripping's been replaced around the door jam. The door panel itself looks good, other than where the window crank has been rolling around. It scuffed it up. We'll look at the bottoms of the doors. I'm gonna bend this camera. There we go. Little spot popping up there. Run through the rest of it. And in the corner there, but you can see that on the outside where it was coming through. Jam itself looks good. Carpet in this car, it's not new, but it's in good shape. See where it's been worn here. The carpet's no biggie. Seat's in good shape. Back seat looks great. Needs a package tray installed. Headliner's a little bit wrinkled. Needs to be tightened up, but it looks good. Go ahead, place your bets on the horn, top right corner. Make it a little game on all the cars now because so many of the horns don't work. Dash is in good shape. Shifter on the floor. Do have an aftermarket radio. I have the uh, plate on the inside of the office. The gas gauge does not work in this car. The Speedo does work. Your blower motor works as well. It's blowing on my feet right now. Windshield wipers, they work as well. And the horn, you ready? No spring, no beat. Car's got a good sound to it, nice quiet motor. Huge tent strip on the front window. Motor's nice and quiet. Let's go ahead and shut the hood down. Comes down nice and easy, it locks. Hood pins for extra safety. Hood's not bent, it's lining up nice. 
there's a little dent in the middle somebody left the bolt too long on the air cleaner and that's what happens didn't look too long now but that definitely happened in the past i've seen that a ton all right i'm getting ready to give you all some undercarriage shots if you want more undercarriage shots jump on my website maplemotors.com like i said in the beginning financing and shipping available plus you can see all of our inventory we'll start up here in the front head on over here to the driver's side passenger side I do appreciate y'all watching if you have any other questions definitely visit our website get all that information first check out the test drive video I was just doing the test drive of this and stopped in this parking lot to do a little walk around in a nice quiet space so you can see the test drive video at the very end of this. I'll link the two together. Definitely visit maplemotors.com or give us a call 615-822-4444. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again, guys.